In this slide, we are going to talk about VLAN configuration methods. So first method is editing VLAN database and the second method is using command in configuration mode. So you can directly add VLAN database and you can add any VLAN into that. So you need to modify the VLAN database in privilege mode. So this is called privilege mode and you see host name and the hash directly go there and type these commands. If you want to use the command, you can use configuration mode, you type VLAN and VLAN ID, name of the VLAN and exit it out. After that, we need to make ports. Uh, we need to convert port in, either into access or in trunk. So to configure access port, the port should be connected to end device, which may be PC, router or any other device. Interface, interface name, port mode access or trunk and which VLAN you want to associate this port with. Then you, if you want to configure the port into trunk, you can give these commands interface fast Ethernet or interface name and the encapsulation method you need to define here. It may be ISL or 802.1Q and switch port mode trunk and exit. So let's have practical view and understand it. So I have the packet tracer topology built up here and you can see all the devices they have IP addresses 1111, 2, here is 2, 3 and 4 and you if you try to ping these devices they can ping. As of now they all are in the same network, uh, same layer 3 network and in same layer 2 network. So I want to divide that layer 3 network into layer 2 layer 2 net uh, layer 3 networks. Now I want to divide that one broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domains. So let's have a look at and understand. So very simple. In one switch I am going to configure VLAN using VLAN database. In another switch I will use another method. So type VLAN database. So before typing VLAN database let's verify how many VLANs we get in a default uh, configuration switch. So show VLAN brief. It will give you the list of five VLANs. VLAN 1 is default. It is saying here and it is the native VLAN on all ports are member of this VLAN. Fine. Great. These are the VLANs which we do not use legacy VLANs and we don't want to use them because these are for like FDDI token running very old topologies. I'll create another two VLANs VLAN 10 and 20 in this switch and we'll understand how many ports are associated to that VLAN. So let's have a look at VLAN database. Okay, now I entered into database. Type VLAN 10. Okay, I want to create VLAN 10. Fine. VLAN 20. That is also fine. And the name is automatically added here. And exit. After that, you see apply completed. Show VLAN brief. It will show you the number of VLANs we created now. We created two VLANs, but still you don't see any ports associated to these VLANs. So first task is done. Now let's verify where this information is stored in our switch. Show flash and enter. As I told in my previous slides, VLAN dot dat file contains this information in flash as we can see that now I'll configure VLAN in another switch using another method go to this mode type here VLAN 10 name you can specify whatever you want net info 10 exit then VLAN 20 name I can type is net info 20 and exit exit Verify and we will compare the VLAN information in both the switches. So VLAN brief. You can see that VLAN 10, VLAN 20 but different name that doesn't matter. You can have any uh, any name here but the ID should be same. And we do not see any ports associated to 
these VLANs. Second task is to associate ports uh, to these VLANs. So first we will verify VLAN 10's port. So VLAN 10 has port number fast Ethernet 02 and on this switch also fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. So fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 is member of VLAN 10. Okay. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 type the command first make it access so by default it is access but still I am going to make confirmation switch port mode access that's it second command switch port access I want to access this port into VLAN 10 that's it one port is configured on this switch in VLAN 10 in another switch again I will go and do the similar thing interface faster than 0 slash 2 switch port mode access then switch port access VLAN VLAN 10 okay now I'll assign another port to another VLAN go here and say interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is member of VLAN 20 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 okay here we go and do same thing interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode access switch port this VLAN 20 that's it so our configuration is done we have configured access port let's verify so VLAN brief very useful command here we go and here you see VLAN 10 has one port fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 yes it is correct VLAN 20 has fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 yes it is correct on this switch also okay fine so things are matching everything is fine but now if you try to ping VLAN 20 to VLAN 20 it is not pinging if you try to ping VLAN 10 PC to VLAN 10 PC it is not pinging because the link between the switches is the access link as of now because we have not configured fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and that port is member of VLAN 1 you can see that by default member of VLAN 1 so you cannot transfer data from VLAN 20 to VLAN 1 and then again from VLAN 1 to VLAN 20 to do that and to allow VLAN data over this link you need to make this port as a trunk port then only you can forward the data to make this port trunk let's do some configuration we need to go to interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 then in the configuration we need to first define the trunk encapsulation but by default the trunk encapsulation it may be auto or it may be 802.1q so switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q fine switch port mode trunk that's fine let's go to another device and you see the link this link is becoming amber it will come up after some time switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode access not access switch port mode trunk that's it okay so now again if you go back and verify your configuration so we'll end brief the port is eliminated from VLAN 1 and it will not be visible here in this output. So we'll, you can see that fast Ethernet 0 slash 4 has come and if you go back and see the previous record fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 was there but it is not there now because it has become trunk. So to verify that you need to see again this device as well okay so now this port is functioning as a trunk link and let's try VLAN 20 to VLAN 20 yes VLAN 10 to VLAN 10 yes 
and we can see some other output here show interface trunk okay then again you type show interface trunk you can see that fast ethernet 0 slash 3 is on it means manually we have defined trunk encapsulation 802.1q and it it is saying the status is trunking it does not tag data for vlan 1 because it is a native vlan port how many vlans are allowed over this link it is saying all vlans which is supported by this which is allowed over this link same here you can is manually specify the number of vlans you want to allow and you want to avoid unnecessary traffic going on the trunk link to do that we need to give a command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 you need to give switch port switch port trunk allow vlan and i want to allow vlan 10 and 20 that's it i will do the same thing here interface faster than at 0 slash 3 switch port trunk allow vlan 10 and 20 exit it out verify the output and say show vlan show interface trunk fine and here we go show interface trunk now you will see that VLAN 10 and VLAN 20's traffic is only allowed over this link so if you ping again from VLAN 20 to VLAN 20 fine from VLAN 10 to VLAN 10 it is fine but from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20 you cannot ping even though they are in the same layer 3 network so uh, at the first phase we have pinged all the devices because they were in the same layer 3 domain and they were in the same layer 2 domain but now they are in the same layer 3 domain but they are not in the same layer 2 domain that's why you cannot ping these devices so this was the basic configuration of configuring trunk link and access link and creating vlans now i'll delete the vlan i'll remove these ports how we can do that so to do that if you say no vlan 10 okay no vlan 20 this is not recommended i am saying what i am doing is not recommended because before removing the vlans you need to remove the ports associated to the vlan so in this one switch i will remove from the vlan so interface faster than net zero slash one i'll say no uh, switch port access vlan and that was member of vlan 20 fine now it has gone out and we will see interface faster than at zero slash 2 this is not member of vlan 10 now so what happens when i remove the ports from the vlan i have not removed the vlan yet and let's see show vlan brief it says the port number 1 and port number 2 automatically came in VLAN 1 and VLANs are still there but ports moved automatically from these VLANs to VLAN 1 even we have not given switch port access VLAN 1 this is the default behavior of switch but in this case we have not removed the ports from VLANs and we have deleted VLANs directly from the machine and we verify the ports show vlan brief and you see that vlans are not there but we have not removed the configuration from the ports now ports are invisible here so there are two cases you need to be more uh, conscious about that do not remove vlan directly before removing the ports or uh, deassociating the ports from the vlan now to bring these ports back you need to go to interface faster than at 0 slash 1 and say switch port access vlan 1 interface faster than at 0 slash 2 switch port access vlan 1 and verify this show vlan brief here we go 
but we will have the port faster than at 0 slash 3 is not there because it is in trunk mode. So these are the two scenarios you can understand. There are some verification commands you can try here uh, for troubleshooting. First is show VLAN brief command. Second is show interface trunk command which will show you the status of the trunk and the number of VLANs allowed over the trunk link. You can use show interface status but this command is not supported in packet tracer. Here you can use another command called show run interface. Here this command is also not supported and you can see the direct configuration, the direct commands which we have given on this port. There is one most important command for troubleshooting is called show interface. I'll say fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and you need to put the keyword switch port. This command will give lot of output which can help us to identify the problem. Administrative mode is trunk. It means we have manually configured this port as a trunk port. After that the output is a trunk, means the operational mode is the trunk port. Which administrative trunking and capitulation we are using, we have manually defined it and operational is also dot one q. How many VLANs over the trunks are allowed you can see here in this output as well. But if I have a look at uh, the another port which has different information. So I'll say faster than at 0 slash 1 this time and let's see what is the output. It is also a 2 port. It is saying administrative mode is access. Operational mode is also access. We'll talk about these two modes. We need to more focus on operational mode. The output either should be trunk or access. Uh, trunking is not enabled so this dot one q will not be used here. So remaining all output is okay and uh, it is saying this is a member of which VLAN this is the member of VLAN 1 as well. So you can see this output using these verification commands.